shit like that. See, this is the kind of conversations that I'm going to have with y'all in the future. Because I don't want to lose some of y'all. I don't want to. But there are, there, there, just like you access the, uh, the, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, the Akashic Records. You can access the Akashic Records, right? We've always known about this. There's also, there's also other cosmic records and also cosmic libraries that you can get access to. Okay? To get, to get information. Alright? And one thing I will say is that a lot of, uh, there's a lot of narratives that's been put out there that we've been fed a whole lot of bullshit. I'm gonna tell y'all that right now. With some of you Negroes that's got access, that's got, inter that's got, uh, that's got issues with the divine feminine energy, you guys are gonna have a hard damn time. You guys are gonna have a hell of a hard time. You gonna have a hard time. You hate you hate the woman. You hate the divine feminine energy. Why well, I, I sure hate it for you. <laughs> Cause that's the energy that's always been running the show. Okay. And one thing I want to tell y'all about something. Exactly as it's told to me. Only in this realm do people do not respect order. But order will be respected and shall be respected. Okay, honey. So as you get up there in higher consciousness, you're going to find out more and more truths about that. And order shall be not only respected, but order shall be restored. And it's a no-nonsense type of energy when we start talking about the divine. Okay, babies? And some of you Negroes ain't ready for that shit. Because you're on your patriarchy bullshit. Because you hate where you came from. Well, I'm going to tell you something, babies. <laughs> you're going to end up destroying yourselves with that bullshit right there. You're going to destroy yourselves. Because <laughs> the divine feminine energy is loving. The great mothers are loving. They're kind. But they are straight, pure, 100% destruction. And they're waking their daughters up. And they're waking those up as far as the men who know how to tap into that energy and balance themselves out. But when you start talking about power, it comes only from the God source. And that, that God source comes to the divine cosmic mothers. Okay? That is God. Some of y'all ain't ready to hear that shit because you've been told about it. He, 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 and his, and he, and his, and his, and he, he, and his, his. Well, that's a bunch of bullshit. I'm here to smash your damn reality. That's a bunch of bullshit. It's a lie. Some of you Negroes need to go get some healing done and go get your damn, uh, go on ahead and get your, car your, 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 uh, your karma cleansed up to find out why you got issues. Find out, you know, because some of that shit goes deep with y'all. And what y'all don't realize is, is that you had issues even in the past lifetime. So you got to get some of that shit cleaned up. You got to get all of it cleaned up. Okay? Because when I tell you the divine cosmic mothers are waking up and activating their doctor, their daughters on a whole nother level and see, then you will begin to understand why they hate, quote unquote, the black woman so much or the indigenous universal cosmic goddess. You'll understand why that is. Because we possess the power. And we can change a lot of shit. Now, for the men, should you choose to respect the order of things, you get access to the same power. Should you not, I hate it for you. I hate it for you. The real kings know truth about this. And they know that there's, there, is no, there, there is no other power. There is no other godlike power other than the divine feminine. It doesn't exist. Now, do you need to have the divine masculine? Of course, to create balance. But I want to make sure you guys are clear about something. You need to be clear about something. Especially now as we continue into the age of Aquarius and some of us are becoming more and more spiritual and so, much, so many of us are becoming more and more cosmic, you begin to start realizing that that, that birth uh, comes from those cosmic divine mothers. And until you come to an absolute respect of order things, you will get your ass whooped. Period. And some of the greatest teachers out here will tell you that. The mothers are waking up her children. This is the age of knowing. 
Aquarius is most definitely the age of knowing. They say, the apocalypse, revelation, it is the age of knowing. See, we're going to have, we're going, we're going, I'm going to do a loud specifically about that. I'm going to do a loud specifically about that because the Divine Cosmic Mothers wants me to give y'all some information about that because some of y'all need to be schooled about the true order of things and, and, and some of y'all ain't going to be ready for that, but it, it, I don't care. It's about coming into a knowledge of a certain truth. So you can get access to what you need to get access to. So you can do the job that you're supposed to do. So you can understand why you came back from the future into the past to correct some things. And a lot of us have done so. But there is order. And you shall respect the order of things. There is order. They've done everything they could to downplay the woman. They've done everything they could, even teaching you from the sexual positions. See, y'all niggas ain't ready for this shit. See, let me put y'all up on game about something. Before there was Adam and Eve, there was Adam and Lilith. Okay, honey? When Adam wanted to have sex with Lilith in a missionary style, Lilith said, hell nah. I ain't doing that. She got up and ran and got the hell on. And when she was found, they asked her, why did you leave the garden? Because he wanted me to submit to him. And that's not what I'm here to do. In a missionary style, Lily said, hell nah. I ain't doing that. She got up and ran and got the hell on. And when she was found, they asked her, why did you leave the garden? Because he wanted me to submit to him. And that's not what I'm here to do. Then came Eve. And Eve was made to submit to him. Make sure you're clear who Lilith is and who Eve is. Make sure you're clear. You Negroes ain't ready for this shit. Y'all not ready for this. See, see, true divine feminine, those who are tapped into that God energy just a little bit. When we see the bullshit coming from some of our men, we're going to shut your ass down. A lot of y'all think it's because of something else. It's no because we see that things are out of fucking order. Get your ass in order. But see, y'all not ready for this conversation. It's, it's going to get too deep for some of y'all. But the kings out here that really know, let me tell y'all something. A king didn't become a king in Egypt or a pharaoh didn't become a pharaoh in Egypt unless the queen mother approved it. He got his power and his magic from the queen mother. Make sure you're clear about that. It didn't come from no other place. And the minute that that imbalance was put in place, now you see what's happening. Destruction. I'm just touching on a little bit about the Divine Feminine. A little bit about it. Order shall be restored. Whether you like it or you don't. Oh, that bullshit. They taught you in the religion is a bunch of bullshit to hide. Well, Rome, Rome was so damn scared of them damn symbols. They had to build a whole damn, they had to build a whole Vatican over the damn thing. Because they got access to those women. How do you think they was able to stay in power? Because they are the undead to this day. They had that kind of power to control all of humanity. Because they were accessing the symbols and their power. And they did the same thing in Mecca. They did the same thing in Mecca. 
went in and destroyed. See, back in the day, it was a matriarch world. Then it became a patriarch world. Because some of the blues were jealous. Well, guess what? That's falling away. That's falling away. Order shall be restored. Now, if you think it's a game, you keep thinking it's a game out here. Because <laughs> I see some things coming. Things are already happening among your queens. Y'all better understand that. And understand that after a while, some of y'all going to start seeing and experiencing some things. And you're not going to understand why you're seeing and experiencing these things. But I'm going to tell y'all something. There is a reason why the hatred is so serious on the divine black woman from our men and from everybody else around the world. Because they know what we have access to. And they're scared to death of it. Scared to death of it. The masculine energy brings us balance. But you Negroes, but that energy was never supposed to take over nothing. The creation energy comes from the divine feminine. Birth comes from the divine feminine. When your child says he knows God, he knows his mama. And if it's, and if and if that if that, if that if that child don't know his mama, he don't know God. Period. Y'all been out of pocket. A lot of y'all been out of pocket. You can't run from what you came from and what you was born from. It is what it is. And until your penis gets a coochie, and you know they doing that nowadays. They doing that now. But that's not natural. But if you're not born children, if you're not carrying that child in the womb, if you can't produce that divine cosmic darkness, You're out of order. You're out of order. Shout out to all my queens and kings out here that know what time it is and know the knowledge that I speak of. Because the mothers want that message to be known. The order is going to be restored. All praise is due to the goddesses of the universe. The cosmic goddesses. The earthly goddesses. The water goddesses. All praise is due. Get out here and start giving respect, okay, to those divine goddesses out here and watch how your life changed. I didn't say worship. I said give honor and respect. There is a difference. Religion taught you to worship something. You were never supposed to do that. And for you Christian folks, Jesus told your asses not to do that. But you didn't listen. But for my people who are listening right now that got the ear to hear. If you want your life to become an order, start honoring that which is in order. Start honoring that. And watch your life change. Give respect to that divine. Give respect to life. Give respect to birth. Be grateful. Show gratitude. We don't worship nothing. 